that and in this video I'll be showing you how I use sugaring wax to shape my eyebrows. If you follow my channel you know that I had a recent mishap on a Chinese commercial set with a makeup artist and a language barrier and a straight razor on my face and <laughs> she shaved a chunk out of this eyebrow. You can kind of see it right now. And also just kind of like got rid of the outer third of each eyebrow. So I've been thinking about my eyebrows a lot lately <laughs> and I think they've grown in enough to do this video. But if you notice the gap in that brow, that's why that's there. That being said, I have definitively established in my life that waxing is far superior to uh, shaping your brows with a straight razor. So I'm gonna start off by showing you my recipe for the sugaring wax. Use a Pyrex dish for this, it is safest. You'll want to use half a cup of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of water, one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, and just a dash of salt. Stir that thoroughly and then pop it into the microwave starting with one minute. After it has cooked for one minute, you'll want to stir it again and then cook it one minute at a time, stirring in between each one and keeping an eye on it so it doesn't boil over until it reaches this nice dark honey color. Then you can pour it into your wax warmer and put it in the fridge or if you don't have a wax warmer just put the whole Pyrex dish into the fridge and I recommend Pyrex because it can withstand this temperature change. I showed you what to do if you're using a wax warmer. If you're not using a wax warmer just put your wax in the freezer for a few minutes until it stops the process of cooking and then you're ready to use it but you have a much shorter time frame in which you can use the wax before it'll start to get less manageable. So if you're going to be doing quite a bit of waxing I highly recommend that you get yourself a wax warmer. And the wax warmer I'm using in this video is this one from Luxuria Rara. And this one has a safety lid, it has a stainless steel bucket, which is what I poured my wax into before I put it in the freezer. It also has a digital temperature display, which is really handy because for me personally, I like to warm my wax for my body to 90 degrees, and then for my face or sensitive areas to about 75 or 80. And aside from that, I'm also going to be using, and this is also from Luxuria Rara, their waxing kit. And this comes with a pre-wax spray, a post-wax spray, um, and this is what I'm going to be using to prep my skin and then afterwards. And they also have these rings that go in the top of your wax warmer just to keep um, from getting wax everywhere. I'm going to put one on right now. This kit comes with three different sizes of sticks to spread the wax or to stir the wax. And two different sizes of, I think these are muslin strips. So these are what I'm going to be using for my eyebrows and then these are what I use for my underarms or my legs or other stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my hair out of the way because when you get wax in your hair, ugh, it's such a hassle you guys, trust me. I think I've had this scrunchie for about 25 years. And I will tell you, once you get the hang of waxing, it's fine, it's easy, it's simple. If you've never done waxing before, you need to be really careful because while a lot of people do it, and a lot of people do it at home, there are risks, and if you don't follow directions, you will burn yourself, and it will be bad. Trust me, I don't want to scare you, I just want you to be aware and be cautious. So the first thing I'm going to do is use one of these sprays. This is the pre-wax treatment spray, and since I've already done my makeup today, I'm going to have to take off all the makeup in the area where I'm going to be using the wax. Goodbye eyebrows. I'm gonna zoom in real close like so you can see exactly what I'm doing. As you can see I have very light brows but they're there. They're just mostly blonde and then missing the chunk from Insanity. So I'm gonna use one of these little guys to spread the wax on my brows and these are just a little bit bigger than your average toothpick. And before I put it on my face, I'm going to test it on the inside of my wrist. And if it hurts at all, I'm going to cool it down and not put it on my face. Because if it hurts at all on my wrist, it will hurt on my face. So I've adjusted my wax temperature and right now it is at 70, which is comfortable for me. But you'll always want to test your own wax on yourself. 
I'm just gonna use this depressor. I'm gonna get a feel for where I want my brows to be, where I want to put the wax, where I don't want to put the wax. Now normally sugaring waxing is different from regular waxing because with sugaring wax you want to spread the wax in the opposite direction of hair growth and pull it off in the direction of hair growth. But on your face with eyebrow hairs, I find that it doesn't matter quite as much which direction you spread it in. What I focus on more is making sure I get it where it needs to be. And pull it off. The side that has endured trauma. Now, what I'm gonna do is I have a few hairs underneath that I want to get, so I'm gonna kind of scooch my rest of my brows upwards, and I'm just gonna get this wax in there underneath. So this is what my brows currently look like, minus Bing Bing's cut. And now that I'm done, it's usually a good idea to apply some kind of a soothing oil that's going to, you know, of course, soothe any irritation and remove any excess wax. Now this kit that I'm using actually comes with an after treatment spray. So I'm gonna put some of that on a cotton round and then go over the area that I waxed. And that's just gonna keep it from puffing up. Although we worked in such a small area that there really isn't a lot of trauma to the skin from this method because it doesn't stick to your skin as much as regular wax. So even if I don't use an after treatment spray or oil, the sugaring wax leaves my skin feeling soft and moisturized, which is leaps and bounds away from my experience with having regular wax done professionally on myself. So that's all there is to it. And if you want to enter the giveaway, I will have all of the details for the giveaway on my Instagram, at Katrinaocity. And what you have to do for that will all be in the directions on there that I'm posting today. And what you win is either one of these wax warmers, the one that I used for this video, or this other one. They have a couple different types. They're very similar and they're both really, really good. And as well as the wax warmer, the waxing kit, which includes all of the strips and the spreaders and the sprays and all of that good stuff. And I will actually have two winners for this contest. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It helps me out immensely. Post a comment down below. And then to enter the giveaway, head on over to my Instagram. Thanks for watching.